Hey everyone, in this little video, I wanted to walk through something really easy to do, and that's go ahead and add a profile repository for your GitHub account. Let's you have a little bit more personalization for people that interact with your account in GitHub. As always, if this is useful, please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of new content. Now, whether you're really experienced with GitHub or a complete novice, this is something that's really, really easy to do. So we can start off with, hey, if we don't have an account, we can just head over to the GitHub page and you could just go and sign up for a free account. So there's nothing you have to pay for here. You can just go and sign up and I'll be able to create both private and public repositories. Now, once you've done that, you're going to get your profile. So this is Clark the Super. And we can see straight away on the profile page, I can do things like edit my basic view of location. I can change my avatar picture and I can pin particular repositories that I've created that I want to be available on my page. You can see here, I can say, hey, customize the pins. And when I do that, I can select the specific repos I want to show. But maybe I want to give a little bit more information about myself. For example, if I go and look at my actual page, you see I have this whole section here that's a little bit more descriptive. And it's super, super easy to do. All we have to do is we're going to create a new repository. Now, make note of what is your GitHub username. For example, mine is Clark the Super. So that's the important bit we need to know. I'm going to go to repositories and all I'm going to do is create a new repository. Now the repository name must match the account name. So it's going to be Clark the Super. Note is telling me, hey, look, this is a special repository that I can add a readme to that is going to now show up as part of my profile. So it's telling me, yep, I've done the right name. I don't have to do a description. The important thing here is, hey, I need this to be public. So I'm gonna make sure it's public and I want to add a readme file. That's the only thing that I have to have within here. I'm gonna do those two things and do create repository. Now, because it knows it's that special repository, it's gone ahead and actually created a special type of readme file. Now this is a regular repository and I'll show later on what I can do with this. But the key point right now is I could do all the editing just within this environment. I can go ahead and click the little edit button and it has some basic content. Now you'll see it's all commented out by default. It's in the comment characters so it doesn't show up, but it gives me some ideas of things that I might want to show. Now I can use emoticons as part of this and I will just take the parts I care about. So I could copy and paste those and add those in. I'm currently working on saving the planet. I'm currently learning, maybe they're learning JavaScript. It seems Superman would probably know that already. And you would just go and fill in various details. Now this is the markdown language, so I could add links to things. If it's just a regular link, I can just type things. I don't have to do anything special. I could just type the link. If I wanted to have different text, then remember I can use, again, the regular markup syntax. So link to, and then I could put a name, site name here, and then what I want it to link to. So I can do exactly the same things I would normally do. So go and populate it. I wouldn't put too much data in. You want it to really just stress a few key things. I don't need to link to repositories of mine because remember I can pin those already. And commit the change. I'm gonna commit directly to the main branch. It's already adding kind of a comment there. And I'm done. So that's my new readme file. And now if I just go and look back at my profile, it's now there. So anyone now can just go and see that. But once again, it's just a regular repository. You could take this a step further. So obviously one of the things I might want to do is edit it locally. 
So as normal, if I go to the code and do the little drop down, it tells me this repository. So I could copy that by clicking the copy component there. And then things like VS Code, I could just do a git clone and that URL. Now, if I do that, it's gonna create a subfolder in my current working directory called Clark the Super that would have my profile. And then at that point, I could just edit it locally. So in my example, I've cloned my John the Brits profile. And you can see here, I'm editing that content directly. I could make changes, save it. It is linked to the remote origin. For example, if I do my git remote v, I can see, oh yeah, this is just a local clone. And when I do commits and pushes, it will go up into my repository. I'm using VS Code here. Remember, if I'm using VS Code, the only thing I have to do is tell it where Git is. So I would go to git-scm, I would install Git. And then the line that really matters is telling it the Git path. Then I can integrate with all of the Git capabilities natively. One of the nice things about VS Code, I can always do Control-Shift-V to go and see a preview of the markup view or I can also do control K and then V to get a split window. And then as I'm working, I can kind of see on the right hand side that preview of the markdown. Whatever I wanna do, I can save commit and that's it. But the key point of all of this is now I can go ahead and add that little bit of personalization to my GitHub profile. So I hope that was useful. That's all I wanted to show in this video. And as always, until next video, take care.